Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now, do you know what time it is? It's nothing special. No special time at all. Right, it's Morbin time, right? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go for a one cheeky Lycanthrope crystal as well, because why not? Maybe, maybe. Uh, but uh, obviously the main thing of today's video is going to collect our Morbius, leveling him up and messing around a bit with him. Let's see if we can start this video with a great amount of luck. No, that's for some. Man, I hate these Paragon crystals. Right, whatever. Right. Besides the random Paragon crystal, we have... I just wanted to see double or nothing. We have an opportunity to get ourselves a 7 star Morbius. Let's uh, grab a screenshot here. Why not? And we have our stamps ready. And there we go. It's Morbin time. So now, I have a new and unique 7 star. Can't take him to rank 2 quite yet, nor I am 100% sure they will, but I probably will. So let's take a look at his champion info, how he looks. We can immediately give him more. No, he doesn't need crit rating. I think he could benefit most from special attack damage since most of his special is under guaranteed crit level 2. And as a defender, obviously, we're going to give him some block penetration, I suppose. Right. Actually, I haven't compared his stats. I would like to know how his stats measure up. I think they were halfway decent, but uh, we'll see. And uh, here we go. Right. Let let's 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 just not mess around. We have Morbius. It's Morbin time. Well, let's upgrade him. And let's see what a rank one, seven star, unawakened Morbius can do. Ooh, look at that. I don't have too much science. I saw. That's weird. Okay, getting him to level 15. It's coming, boys. We're about to morb. We are about to morb. I have four points in deep wood as well, which is going to be quite neat for him. We're going to take him in a couple of places. Obviously, the Winter Soldier, the Deadpool, the Venom Deduct, the and uh, then, you know, perhaps a bit somewhere else. So nice to get a 7 star champion without, you know, some major RNG involved or opening a ton of Paragon crystals or something. So I am quite close, I think, to forming my third science. And now I just need to make sure I get some tier 6 basics to fill it. Right. Let's jump in a special quest first. Go to Realm of Legends. Let's do first two fights, because the first fight is with class disadvantage, which we do not like. So we're going to beat up Winter Soldier and Right, I need to give him a relic as well. Champion info. Which relic can I give him? Relic info. Science relic. Which relic can I give him? That wouldn't matter too much. Untouched that relic. Which champion does this? Oh, I think it was unbound. I think it wasn't binded to anyone. Sweet. So for now, we gave him the Spidey relic. And let's go. Let's see how Morbius does. I really do need to unequip all of my relics and resource them a bit better. But uh, I'll get to it. I get to it. Right. So the entire point here is I don't really want to glide initially. Hey, why are you not bleeding anything? Oops, that wasn't right. Okay, fine. We're just going to do this. This is a bit awkward. Whatever. I'm going to use level one. So that is going to eat up my. 
वो आए देंगे Fine, fine, fine. We got the 10 bleeds. That's fine. Why are... And again, I just really need to get used to this gliding mechanic. It is a bit... Okay. Okay, now we got those four bleeds. That's fine. And now I want to get to a level 2. That is sweet. Come on, Winter Soldier. Come on. Hey, come. Whatever, I only had 21 now, but it was still 140k. So we're gonna have to try and do this better again. Won't use it. And there we got that. And now I just want to build up to my level two. Now we are just going for a level two and see how much carnage we can cause. So we only have 19 bleeds here, but it was still 130k. I mean, you could definitely do better there. And I think with this one, I will just go for level 2. So this has been far from a perfect fight, obviously, but even with 7 bleeds... Oh, right, I didn't have... Now mind, you need to have at least 10 bleeds in order to get that guaranteed crit. Because if you do not crit, you're kind of done for. And again, I did not have the 10 bleeds, but we still crit for 69k. So I think, like, already, if you have at least, like, 10 bleeds, you can probably just go for level 2 in most matchups, and you know. But it is one thing that you do notice that you do virtually no damage outside of level 2, which is the type of thing that I'm not, like, a huge fan of. But, you know, that's the way he's made. Okay, so I have 12 bleeds here. And now I have 18. And I just want to build up to my level 2 with whatever I have here. Fine, we are super aggressive whilst our glides on cooldown. Bait out a level 2. Come on. We did that. We have 24 bleeds, that's 167k. Now we can go for this. Now hopefully we can do this fight a bit better. We'll have our petrify active. I should have used the glide and then used the level one. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. Now again, I want to be super aggressive. Build up to my level two. And that was half decent damage. It's just that, yeah, your base damage on Morpheus is not great. Whoops. Perfect, just what I needed. Okay, now this is going to be it. But I did make some mistakes and he does have that region, which is something that I like. It's not too bad from what I can tell in terms of speed. Especially because, you know, I just missed kind of like the finishing blow. Because if two level twos would have taken the fight, it would be like a fairly rapid time. All right, let's go then for book select. Let's go for our dead pool punching bag. And then we are also going to go for the Venom of the Dark. So let's see. How is Morbius? 
I do quite like his regen mitigation reversal and uh, opponent's power gain uh, mitigation abilities. Okay, so initially, ideally, I do not want to glide until I can punish his level one. I want to see how much damage I can do without going for level two. Sorry for level one. Oof, that was enough. I think okay, for a health pool like that, 22 seconds, that is fast. That is rapid. So in like shorter, shorter fights, you can just go for level two and nuke. Let's see. I don't I think I need level one, level two against uh, when in the dark. So let's see how long it takes for more bees to do the level one, level two. Okay, so I'm gonna I activated my glide here, which kind of sucks. But it's fine because I can do this. And uh, now I just want to get to my level two with as many bleeds as possible, and that should be more than enough or enough. So we're gonna use the relic here. And with that, yep, no, that's that's fine. I like that. I like that the medium's unblockable, so I can just dash and run forward. And that is also 34 seconds. And that special two dealt 190k. Yeah, uh, Morbius definitely has all of his damage. All of it. On a level two. So now... Let's try somewhere in Act 7. Let's go to a random quest, see if we can find a path that he could be fun for. Let's see if we can find some cool interaction. I don't think this is the Thunderstruck one. Paradox buff, special delivery. Nothing too fun and interesting. Heaven Flow knockdown, definitely not for this fight. He was also not for this. I don't think we're gonna get a fight here for him. Yeah, this is the mix master one. Where can we find a good fight for my boy? Let's try in the previous quest. Because this is obviously also incredibly important, as in like how many of the hard matchups he takes, uh, what he does well, what he does poorly, stuff like that. I will definitely need to go through the toughest matchups and see which ones of them he would work for. Okay, do you bleed? Brazil. Okay, against. Do you have potency? This could be interesting. This could be kind of interesting because his bleeds are really weak. But with the paradox thing, okay. Maybe we'll leave it. Funny reflection, very vulnerability. Master, yeah, these are not great parts for my boy. These are not great parts. Okay, so we're gonna jump in seven, four, five. I'm quite sure that we can find a decent path here. Heaven Flow Intercept again, that kind of is not great. Ardex Dodge. Okay, this could be quite interesting. Let's see what happens. Civil Warrior is not going to be great, but let's see how he does here. This is one of those paths you can absolutely cheese with Ithalk, but. So, we need Dodge Attacks, second against Offensive Combat Power Rate, finish combo with Light, reduce it. And okay, let's see what happens. Let's see how this works out.
Whoops. That's fine. Okay. Come on then, Medusa. Whoopsies. Come on, Medusa. Ah, it's not. Definitely isn't like the perfect. Okay, I need to finish some combo with the lights here. And I had too much combat power, right? He's level three. Low. I did not have too many bleeds, did I? Whoa. Okay, that did not work out great. Let's see. Come on. Ah, no. <laughs> it's hoping it. Yeah, this is definitely not like the greatest past yeah, for Morbius, but uh, I just didn't stumble upon one that's ideal. Overall, though, I was really happy with how fast he was able to deal with uh, the Deadpool and Venom Dark. Uh, I, I do want to take my revenge here. I do want to take my revenge on uh, Medusa. Right, so. And here we are. Going to go for this. And again, I threw that special and not a lot. Fine. Yeah, I can't really. I just, I just need to spam the level once, I feel like. But I get too much combat power rate. Okay, we can make this happen. Can make this happen for sure. We got twenty one. There we go. That's not too bad. Ah. Uh, and we were doing so well. Okay. <laughs> now I got to hang of this one. And that's it. Haha, -ha, I got my revenge. Wasn't perfect. No, but overall, I definitely must say that uh, I do quite like Morbius as a champion. And uh, I definitely, because again, this is something that I would have done a long time ago if we had Aunt May getting updated, because I do want to see where his um, health pool, uh, like at 47k for 7 star rank 1. And if you compare that with like Spider-Man, who does have a small health pool, which is 43. So I don't know if that's... Okay, so 7-star rank 1. We can actually go to Aunt May and check it out. Uh, how that would compare. So we have 7-star rank 1 base stats. Health pool, 47k. That doesn't look too great. Looks like he does have quite small health pool. Ooh, yeah. 47k health pool, 7 star rank 1 is under Shuri. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 smallest health pool, basically in the noodle health pool territory. Which is not amazing. 
let's check out his uh, block proficiency. Critical rating is 747. So let's go crit rate. 747 is, I'd say, about average or slightly. If we have 40 champions here listed, then 747, 707 would be just below average. Critical damage is 407, which again is not great. Fairly bigger than the Titanius. 407 critical damage which means he should benefit a lot from critical damage increase, actually. That's probably the best uh, stat focus to give him, because his crit damage rating is so low, he would benefit quite a bit from that. Armor penetration, armor rating 218. Oof, that's the third smallest one. So this is the thing that nobody said. Block prof. Block proficiency, he has 4445, which is about average. So he has average block proficiency, very small armor, very small crit rate, very small crit damage rating, no physical or energy resistance. A great, great mega lie, and he has small health pool. That, you know, that is definitely something that had to be noted and nobody mentioned it until now. Don't like that too much. I don't know. He does have some region though. I suppose that helps. Let me know what you guys think about his uh, that issue. But uh, that's it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about